Hi, I'm Adrian and I'll show, show you a quick tutorial on how to map the particles uh, after you've simulated them with Femifix and to render them in Krakatoa. So, uh, I have here a grid uh, object source and uh, animated ball uh, which was already added to the simulation and was simulated uh, as you see here uh, I'll not show how to do this because uh, I, I done this in previous, previous uh, tutorials so uh, I'll only show how to map those particles so let's go to the particle flow and um, let's add a empty flow with uh, Femifix beer operator and uh, Femifix follow a standard Femifix flow ok let's select the Femifix grid uh, I've simulated only smoke and exported the velocity also on uh, Femifix follow select the grid and uh, set the delete particles if out of grid now go to particle flow source 01 and set the oops, uh, set the quantity multiplier to 0 0.1 in viewport so we don't see all the particles now in Femifix birth uh, set the rate to some big number you can adjust this uh, to your preference after you see what result you will have and let's see what we have now. Okay, the particles are no, um, now red because of display operator. Here, let's set them to white. Uh, now for Krakatoa, I've uh, I've set it uh, so that it will use uh, force additive mode. So uh, we'll got uh, get the colors without light. Uh, but you can uh, use lights on or different re rendering settings. So let's make a quick render. Okay, now you, you can see the particles. So they are now white because they are uh, they don't have any color information. So to give some color information, uh, we'll uh, apply a map uh, because. Uh, uh, the particles doesn't have uh, are not uh, planar, but they are they have uh, 3D coordinates. It's better to use uh, uh, some uh, 3D materials, and uh, if they are procedural, uh, this is uh, better because you can animate some settings and do some cool looking renders so let's uh, go and create a quick material uh, select first slot apply a cellular for example map set the colors as you want for example brown division colors and blue and this would be light blue uh, okay, set this for now. Let's uh, set uh, the chill, uh, type to chips and uh, so they look like, like this. Uh, it's too bright. Let's try to play a little bit with the settings. Spread. Okay. Now it's look, uh, looking better. Now let's apply them to to f uh, particle flow. Go back to your particle flow view, and from uh, from operators, let's drag a mapping object. This will apply the uh, mapping uh, the texture coordinates f uh, on our particles based on some some object but if you don't select any object um, 
I'm not sure, but I think it's using the emitter uh, transformation matrix. So it's all applied based on the emitter. Uh, so f for mapping, uh, you can choose from different options. I if you have a static material, you can choose material static or d dynamic. We'll use in this case for animated maps. So let's assign our map to material dynamic and set it as I instance. So all the um, all the changes changes that we will made uh, will make here will be reflected in uh, material dynamics. Uh, okay. So uh, now, in, uh, because we want to animate this map, we'll uh, select the mapping object. Uh, uh, not just because we want to animate this map, but also we want that uh, the particle uh, coordinates will. Uh, will always be in a uh, world space uh, sorry, will be sa uh, sampled each frame so we can see that map as a mm, volumetric map, you know uh, so we will not sample the color at the first frame but uh, we'll s uh, and keep their color so we'll uh, get some weird uh, results as uh, for example, turbulence. Uh, when you apply a turbulence to particles, uh, after they got some colors, you, you know that you get some uh, re uh, really bad noise if you don't sample e each time the coordinates. So we'll sample each frame. Continues. So now uh, let's see what we have ok uh, don't see nothing interesting, let's set the self illumination to 100 a diffuse Oops. And go back to the diffuse and set the size to 1 Okay, I've played a little bit with settings, so uh, I got uh, some. Uh, the problem was in uh, small size of the map. Uh, I've set it to 10, so it's looking good. Uh, the settings are the same in material dynamic and uh, mapping object is continuous. So nothing cha uh, changes here. Okay, so uh, not now let's uh, animate our uh, particles. Uh, our ma our mapping. Okay, so if you have no noise, you c uh, can uh, animate the face. Uh, so in this case I'll, uh, I will only animate the offset so let's set a keyframe auto key disable for now uh, event 01 to not overload with 3 ds max ok so let's go to frame no. 30 and uh, let's animate the offset ok like so also let's animate a little bit the angle ok um, yes. so 
let's see what we have now. Go back to particle flow, turn on the event one, uh, the event one, and let's set it to render 100 frame frames. Let's see what you have. Okay, so it's looking uh, look, looking good. Uh, let's, for example, render some frame just to see what we have. We'll have to wait a little bit for FameFix to update. I'll pause the video. Here, here is what we have. So uh, all looking good, but uh, for example, we want to mix it with. Uh, the color, uh, the color information, color by age from previous uh, previous 